I have found myself saying on numerous occasions lately the great respect I have for the human mind, the human psyche, um, the respect almost borders on fright, <laughs> on fright, um, because I observe, being able to observe my own psyche, and of course that which I see expressed from other psyches, it is sometimes very disturbing and the thought that we're not really in control of our psyche um, can be very um, disturbing that really we are at the mercy of mind and all of the illusions it creates we're constantly trying to figure out what is real and what is illusion. But nothing ever stays constant long enough for it to become real. And so we can become so caught up in the flurry of incoming illusions like frames on a movie reel and the faster we play it the more we think the movie is real but it never takes on solidity long enough to actually be real it's always illusion even even the experiences we call real they look real to our human perception but it's not real it's just many many movie frames flitting by our our awareness what is real the realness i think the reality is the silence the stationary the stillness the, mo the non-movement, the inactivity of mind, that is real. Everything else is just moving movie frames that project on the wall, on the movie wall. And we think the movie is real, but it's not. That being said, we uh, have come into an experience of where experiencing discontent seems to be the genre. And discontentment is what makes us never sit still, makes us, us never accepting of what is, always on the move seeking for higher heights and farther distances. And that which we are is never enough. The present is never enough. And so in this subconscious, unconscious discontentment that's never really registered on the surface, we forever seek for something greater, something better, something different than that which presently is. Oh, some days I envy the atheist that doesn't believe in anything outside of what this physical experience registers. And to be able to find enoughness with that is grace. Because 
when we are discontent with the now and the enough, we will never know who we are. Because we are always in a dissociated state of being. Yes, non-identity non -identity helps, but uh, it still is a dissociated way of being in the now, in the present. So many of us unconsciously despise our humanness because it's associated with so much pain. And so we dissociate and go into hallucinations, into other dimensions, and call that real. Why do we prefer that realness over this realness? That's a good question. Why are we dissociating from this reality, the physical reality? Because there's something uncomfortable that we have not accepted and are, and are still resisting. When we resist something, we want to escape it. We don't want to be present with it. And that's where spirituality can be such a lure. Really, it's no different than escaping through other means of drugs and things, just to not having to be present in the now reality. That's what I mean about the, the scary aspect of our mind, our psyche. <laughs> it will have us running here and there. It will always have us running somewhere. And uh, I don't know if that is what we're meant to be doing. I'm still figuring it out in myself. I just, I just want to rest. I just want to rest in that. And I know that my, the conscious awareness that I received about saying I am God, I know that is a major bypass. It serves as a major bypass. But it has helped me, also helped me slow down and stopped me from dissociating from my present human experience. In taking myself to the edge of the universe, into the void, psychologically, I have put up a, a stop to my wanting to constantly escape, to constantly find an alternative, alternate reality. I can tell myself I have been there, I've gone as far as I can go in consciously assimilating the knowing that I am God, having a human experience, there is nothing left for my psyche to feel compelled that I need to go find it and search it. And that has brought rest to my soul in my present state. And that is the rest that I believe we are to find. It is not out there. It's not out there in the seventh heaven or in space. It is finding the contentment within myself, in the present now, as it is, as I am enjoying this beautiful sunshine this morning on November 19th. I'm so grateful that we're not steeped in five feet of snow. I'm grateful for the now, the way it is. And for the rest this realization brings to me. So, I guess I am just tired of running to and fro in the universe, <laughs> exploring. I just want to rest and be content in the way things are this moment.